guys welcome back to the channel Yorkshire Crafter and today I have got some more Peter Rabbit so today we are going to be doing issue 23 which is the next character patch it's another one of the uh, rabbits Cecile Harsley so yeah and then 24 begin the embroidery for Cecile Parsley so I'm not too sure if there is going to be a patchwork patch in this one because that's usually how the issues work but there's no um, templates or anything so we'll uh, have to read more and uh, find out what's going to happen so let me put this to the side and we will get into issue 23 pull everything out so we have some fabric so this is issue 23 so we're starting the next patch there's a project a patchwork pin cushion and then a little bit more about um how Cecile is uh, part of the uh, story so let's have a look we have the usual welcome page and then Cecile Parsley so let's have a look at what we have so the fabrics so we have tan white pink and emerald and then the fabric for the patch is the blue gingham so let's organize these <clears throat> and we'll get into what we have to do let's get the templates off the back first so that is template one so all the bits that we need to cut out and then template two is showing the placement and then the shadowed and the shaded bits are where we're going to embroider so that's that so get into what we have to do so first of all tracing onto the bonder web so working on a flat flat surface trace all the shapes from template one at the back of the issue closely together onto the paper side of the bonder web number the pieces according to the template and leave a border of no more than five millimeters cut out each shape reserve the offcuts to use in a later issue so we have the bonder web from issue Twenty issue twenty one, yeah, issue twenty one. So we need to um, find out the uh, bonder web, and yeah, we need to uh, cut these pieces out. So let's get into the box and find all the bonder web, everything else from before, which I have here. The pencil 
and a bit of sticky tape in case we need it so let's do the shirt so numbering as we go as it says so uh, right so we want to try and get as much onto the bits as we can <clears throat> so number one is the head so the rabbit's head and draw on where the eyes and the whiskers are going to go and then we want the line for the ears and then where we're going to stitch so that's number one and we've got this one number 12 yeah and then we've got this one here the body And that is number 10. So we'll do just number 7 here. Then we've got this shape here is number five and we've got number six um over here We've got number 15. I think according to the picture, this is a courgette. <clears throat> so. Project. and this one has been bitten into I think it's number eight then number eighteen is another one Let's do eighteen So then we've got all of these pieces up here. So try and squeeze it on. Number 11, yep. Then number 13 then got this number nine then number two then number Fourteen and 
we've got a couple of long ones so let's see if we can get these ones this is number three then number four then number sixteen <coughs> And then am I missing any? Not done number seventeen. So we'll do that one down here. So let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen pieces, eighteen. 17, 18, yeah, 17, 18, yep, so that is all the pieces, and yeah, I've had to be, um, yeah, very uh, frugal with the uh, wonder web, so any pieces left over, I always put in a bag to save so yeah that's what I will do so let me cut out these shapes and I will be back with you guys shortly right guys I've cut all of the shapes out now from the bundle web so what I need to do remove these down and we're going to look in the magazine of what needs to go on which colour fabric so position the head pot barrow handles paws feet and middle marrow on the tan fabric so on the tan so we need the head number one the pot number two that's just come away from the bonder web so make sure that stays when i um iron it the barrow handles three and four we've got number four there and number three with this long one pause pause five is this one feet six and seven so six and seven uh, six and seven the middle marrow eight Right, so to move some of these to make room. Right, 
the Murrow 8 onto the tan fabric so yeah so that's that right position the white and pink pieces carefully as you will use the leftover fabric in issue 26 ah so that's where some of the leftover fabric so you want position the white and pink pieces carefully as you will use the leftover fabric in 26 so yeah we don't need that yet uh, so on the white we want the lid number nine yeah on the white the skirt number 10 we'll move that over right the baby baby pink So yes, we need some of the leftover fabric from last time. So we want this baby pink from before, from the last issue. Uh, number 11 is the gathering for the sack uh, and the bodice 12 this one and then on the pink on the sack 13 the emerald is let me just double check the emerald is that darker i'm just checking it wasn't from before the outer barrow 14 that one Marrow 15 on the teal I think is from the last issue baby pink the teal yeah that green from before from the last issue <clears throat> wheel brace 16 it's that one In, inner barrow 17 and the red the camise from before the marrow no that's not the camise is it it's the right hang on it's the blue is the dark blue fabric 
Yes, this one. The gleamy blue. So it's this fabric that we want for this, not the not that gleamy one. Not that one. Eighteen. Yeah. It's that one. So I think that's all of it. So we need to iron. So let me move these pieces out of the way now and then we can plug in the iron there we go so just moving these without making a mess that one and then try and keep hold of all these pieces while ironing that one and that one them two <coughs> done the green from before is that one number 13 that one There we go. And oh, this pink doesn't want to stay together. That one. That one. There we go, that one. Then next, that to the side. Then I attach this one. <coughs> one on then next to make sure that one stays and that one as well there we go and now this is going to be tricky as soon as there's any kind of heat even oh even from the ironing board it uh, wants to move some way up that one And the head number two number four five 
moved. Number four move. And Number seven, and then we want this bottom one to stay. Oops, there we go. Right, so I can unplug. The iron. There we go. Right. So we've got all. Oops. Let me move the chair, guys. Sorry. Right. So we've got all the pieces ironed on. So that's the ones for the cream. And that's the white. It's the emerald. It's the baby pink this is the other pink but we only need a little bit got the green from the last issue and then we've got that blue from the last issue and uh, yeah as well as the baby pink so those three were left from the last issue so let's have a look Cut out the pieces, saving the excess white and pink fabric. Trim the blue gingham fabric for the square shape. I'm not trimming any of my squares yet until I come to stitching the squares together, doing the rows. So I'm just leaving mine as they are so then I can... Um, place the characters and just look at the templates through that way so that's how I'm going to do mine when it comes to it because um, one of the free gifts was the cutting square or was that one of the premium I, I, I'm not sure um, but yeah there's a uh, cutting square so what i need to do now is i need to cut the shapes out of the fabric so i shall be back with you guys shortly right guys i am back i have cut all the pieces out of the fabric now so we just need to iron it on to the square so i'm going to try like before and see if we can see through to place the head no that light doesn't really help sorry about that little bit see the head wants to go there that's where the head wants to go and that's There and there. Just marked it a little bit with the pencil with the fabric uh, pencil. 
but we want to keep that replacement for the whiskers. Move these so I can move the iron down to here. Hopefully, you guys will still be able to see what I'm doing. So, that is the head in place, number one. Then we want in the instructions. Yep, so put the head in place. Next, attach the baby pink bodice, number 12. Try and peel. paper off and it goes underneath the chin like that yep like that let's see now because we've been a bit burned there so peel the back in from the white skirt number 10 Really not wanting to peel off with it. There we go. So we want to position it much go over like that. Ah, that way. That way, because then we go around the ear. And yeah. There we go, that's the skirt. Finish the character by, t by attaching the tan paws 5 and feet 6 and 7 in the same way. So, what number 5 next? That's the pause there. No, that's a little bit. Further down. There we go. That's the pause. And the feet six and seven. So we'll do number six first. Is go under here. Tucks under the skirt there. And seven. Goes at the back. And there.
of that. And then turn it over. Peel. Peel the backing from the marrow 18, align with the pencil lines and press into place. So we need this back. So need to make sure we have the head. in place and then we can position the marrow 18 goes there that's that one so again Pencil mark. Cut this marrow in place. This paper doesn't really doesn't want to come off today. Why? But anyway. We got there. So that's that one. Then we want the cream number eight. That wants to go here. And then at 15, wants to go up here somewhere. Right, so let's just backtrack. A little because it doesn't say about positioning the barrow yet. So in your next issue, complete your applique with stitches and Cecile's patch. But it doesn't show, it's on the picture, it just shows the character and the marrows. And it doesn't show that we attach the bits for the barrow. Uh, store the tracing paper as you will transfer the facial details, dress details, wheelbarrow and marrow strips in issues 24 and 25. So I don't think we add the bits for the barrow. Not in 23, anyway. So... Let me unplug the iron because what I'm going to do now is we're going to look at the next issue because like I showed you guys on this picture is just the bunny and the marrows and then that's it, there's no more instructions. So, we will open issue 24. 
and we'll see whether we attach the barrow yet. Sorry. Right. So let's move those pieces. We've got all the bits for the barrow still there. Move those threads. So issue 24 begin the embroidery so yeah it says we will need template two and then obviously the threads and then the detailing to finish off the rabbit so let's right so yes that now explains it so peel away the paper from the tan and yeah look we can see we are going to start attaching the details for the wheelbarrow so i need to plug the iron back in don't i guys and we can start doing that we need the template still from before so let's plug the iron back in there we go so it says peel away the paper backing from the tan handles three and four align each in turn Press with a hot dry iron and the bonder web adheres to the fabric. Peel other way away the backing from the barrow piece. Neatly position. So yeah, we need to do these pieces now. So what do we need? Three and four the barrow handles. So that's three. And that is number four. So number three. We need to peel this off and we can put it into the lower There we go. Back. Don't burn anything. That's one handle. And then we want the second. So we want this one going. in line with it sorry about that that was a car horn outside if you heard that i do apologize uh, then we need piece 14 which is the barrow piece is what it says so we want to make sure this is going at the end here that's that one then we want the teal inner 17 so that's going to go up the side of the piece we've just attached so that's going to go in like that then next attach the pink sack 13 
launch it to curve round yeah just like that and it's gone right into position uh, next we want the pot number two and that's going to go on the top of where the green is it's going to sit on the top it needs to go in like that that's that one and then the white lid number nine that goes on top of the pot There we go, and then then we want number sixteen, and that's going to go over the top of the green pot. not sure I think maybe that's for the wheel the wheelbarrow wheel and then check turn over I've got a piece left right so that's number 11 is the sack tie so this has got to go on top of this pink over here the sack so that is all of the pieces attached now and then we get on to the embroidery so let's undo unplug the iron and we will go through sorry we will go through the embroidery so then I can get on with that and then I can come and do a last clip for you guys. So there is quite a bit of embroidery to do. So there is under the chin, the whiskers, the eyes, the eye, sorry, the mouth, the nose, then more detail around the eyes then we do the inside ear then we do some detailing on for the rabbit's skirt and then we do uh, some more detailing at the bottom I think that's shadowing where the feet and things are and then it shows going round all the pieces and doing the oh there's a bit of um 
shadowing or something on the uh, pink top and then that's it for this issue so yeah so i need to get on with these bits of embroidery so once i have done that we can then look at the character and where we've got to so far we might need to go into a third or maybe fourth issue i'm not too sure yet um there's quite a bit to do on uh, this character so i'm gonna get the embroidery done and i will see you guys in a bit right guys i am back so i have some progress to show you for the patch so this is how far we are now with the next two issues but as you can see we haven't quite finished we've got these i think the gherkins at the bottom and a little bit of detailing on the wheelbarrow but that comes in issue 25 so you can see there some detailing on the gherkins but i like to do two issues at a time so we've done issue 23 which was to start the character and then issue 24 where we put some of the detail in on the rabbit but like i say this goes on over three three issues so we've still got this patch to finish but like i say i like to do two issues at a time and then hope to have two patches at the end to show you guys but this one is a little bit of a lengthy one this character patch so i'm gonna leave that there for this video I'm going to get it edited and uploaded for you guys to see sometime today because Tuesday is the day that I am doing this last clip. So, yeah, I hope you like the way this character patch is coming out so far. But, yeah, we'll get on to issue 25 and 26 um yeah next time so um yeah that's everything for now so remember guys in a world where you can be anything be kind bye guys